Hello there, welcome back to the YouTube channel. I'm back again having a Blake from a Blake? A break from Bloomborough today. Um one of the things I ask the people who follow me on Twitch and you know my subscribers over there is if there's any cards they want me to cover any stage, or my mods come up with cards occasionally, and one of my mods, Deathly Watcher, asked me to look at Toxville, the corrosive. Now we're going back in time a little bit for Toxville. Toxville's been out for a while now. Originally from one of the Innistrad sets. I want to say Crimson Vow looking at the symbol, but I know Toxville exists. Um, and they asked me to have a look at Toxville. So here we go. This is my take on Toxville. Um, five and double black for a 7-7 seven, seven slug horror. And at the beginning of each end step, put a slime counter on each creature you don't control. And creatures you don't control get a minus one, minus one for each slime counter on them. And whenever a creature you control, you don't control with a slime counter on it dies, you get a slug. And then you can pay a blue and a black to sack a slug and draw a card. I'm going to be honest. I avoided doing Toxville because I've had so many experiences being on the receiving end of Toxville with token decks, with elf decks, with all sorts of things that I've never covered them. Um, but, you know, Deathly asked for it. So here you go, Deathly Watcher. This one's for you, mate. Right. At the beginning, so we want to take advantage of creatures dying, so there's easy ways of doing that. And the easiest way is Blood Artist. Um, whenever a target player, whenever you Blood Artist with another creature dies, target player loses a life and you gain a life. Bit awkward on MTG, you have to say who's losing all the triggers, but, you know, hopefully you don't crash with the amount of triggers that Toxville will generate. Um, because we like minus one, minus one counters, um, well, because we like um, slime counters, I should say, um, we liked having proliferate in the deck as well. So we've got Thrumming Bird here. Chrome Host Sea Chart gives us a few incubate things that we can hopefully transform at some stage to have a few more beaters. Flux Channel lets us proliferate, so more slime counters going everywhere. Morbid Opportunist lets us take advantage of the fact that creatures are dying, we get to draw a card. Sedgemore Witch, because we have quite a few instances of sorceries coming up, and we might as well have this in here to get some pests that can give us a, keep us alive. The Bloodletter of Aklazotsu, I think I've said it right. If I've butchered it, I'm sorry. Um, if an opponent would lose life during your turn, they lose twice that much life instead. Damage is also life loss, don't forget. Eretai Resurrected is here, just do a bit of countering. People can draw cards off that, but that's fine. Lavaza, Demir, Mastermind. Um, we get to copy a creature that we've killed off, it's a good one. Massacre Girl gives all our creatures with us. That so chucks around minus one, minus one counters on them. Um, again, something else we can proliferate eventually. Roaming Throne does the whole double triggering, and we choose a creature type for it. Um, I would probably choose Slug with Roaming Throne, just so we're clear, because in case we do need to sack it off at some stage, we can um, draw a card. <laughs> um, Saskima of a Thousand Faces ignores the legend ruled and lets you have two copies of Toxville down, which scares me, even though I'm the one doing the deck. Skin Render just chucks around minus one, minus one counters. Spark Double does the same thing because it means it isn't legendary, so you could have you know, potentially three Toxfields in play. Anyway, um, Tekaluther, the Inquiry Dominus, does the proliferate twice instead of the proliferating once when you proliferate. Massacre Girl probably clears the board of all your opponent's creatures and some of your own when you play it, so be careful when you play the Massacre Girl. So Conrad the Grim just does the whole draining when a creature dies. The Scarab God lets us bring anything back um, from a graveyard and make it a zombie, which could be useful in this deck. And obviously the Scarab God just goes into the um, return. It, to, it comes back to our hand. It goes to the graveyard. Just hope it doesn't get exiled. A few big things to finish off with. So we've got some beaters. Grave Titans here. because This black deck's Grave Titan. This me. Massacre Worm. Lives as another way of draining people out when their creatures die. Ancient Silver Dragon lets us have no maximum hand size for us again. We get to draw lots of cards with a bit of luck. Archfiend of Despair stops everyone gaining life, and then we get to do the life loss bit again. And Archon of Cruelty, because I just like Archon of Cruelty, really. Sorry. A couple of Planeswalkers to help us out. Um, Vraska Betrayal Sting is here, because the zero we get to proliferate, so we can up the number of slime counters, or the minus one, minus one counters that we put on things. Or turn something into a treasure is really annoying us. And Liliana, Death Wielder, literally chucks around plus one, plus minus one, minus one counters, and they can destroy things with minus one, minus one counters on them if we need to. If we can get the minus ten off, um, yeah, we'd be happy. 
Spells wise, Dark Ritual for Ramp, Tragic Slip for Removal, Whisper of the Dross for the Removal and Proliferate, Black Sun Zenith puts minus one, minus one counters everywhere, Cabal Ritual gives us some more mana ramp, Contagious Plan, Card Draw and Proliferate, Counter Spell, Cyclonic Rift, you know, bit of board control, Demonic Tutor goes and finds us something that we need to win with. Experimental Augury does the whole let's have a look at the top three, have one and then proliferate. Manage Rain for some more control, which will help us cast Toxwood if we hit something good off it. Grim Affliction, minus one, minus one on a creature and then proliferate. Toxic Deluge, just more board control. Cryptic Command for either, oh, we've got the Texas one come up today, um, for either a counter spell, a bounce, or a draw. Damnation to blow the board up. Instill Infection for more card draw and a minus one, minus one counter. Feast of Succession, so we can become the Monarch at some stage. Be careful, again, it will take out most of the creatures we've talked about, apart from Toxril. And then Rise of the Dark Realm, so at some stage we can get everyone's cards back on our side of the board and win. Artifact-wise, fair bit of ramp and a fair few extra cards that help. So Jeweled Lotus is in here, sorry. Um, Soul Talisman for more ramp. Elixir of Immortality for if it goes pear shape, we need to shuffle everything back in. Lava Spur, Boots to protect Toxrill. Soul Ring, Arcane Signet, Charcoal Diamond for the ramp. Contagion Class for minus one, minus one counters on a creature and then proliferation. Jet Medallion to cut the casting cost down. Lightning Greaves to protect Toxrill. Sapphire Medallion to cast, cut the cost of blue spells. Sky Diamond for some ramp. The Boots to protect Toxrill. Talisman of Donaments as ramp. Sword of Truth and Justice, um, pro white, pro blue, which is very useful, I think, Dick, because obviously most most of the other two, well, white definitely has pro black stuff. Um, and whenever equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, plus one, plus one counter on a creature we control, then we get to proliferate. Helm of the Host, so I can have even more copies of Toxville around, because, you know, I want to try and crash MTGO. I am joking, I don't really want to do that, but, you know, Helm of the Host and Toxville probably will cause a bit of an issue. And then Contagion Engine, just so we can put loads of minus one, minus one counters everywhere and do more proliferation. A few enchantments, not too many. Ristic Study for card draw, Inexorable Tide, so we can proliferate when we cast spells, and then the Court of Lockthane, um, because I want to play with everyone else's deck and there's another way of me being the Monarch. Lands, I kept very simple in this deck. Um, ten Islands, ten Swamps, all the other blue-black lands you can think of. Um, I haven't played the Field of the Dead for a change. I left it at home. But you can swap out an island or swamp for Field of the Dead if you want to. A few bits of searches so that Maestro's Theatre and Obscura Storefront, Pluted Delta, Spymaster's Vault makes an appearance as well. Um, target creature you control, Connives X, where X is number of creatures that died this turn. So you can make something very big. If you let the Toxville trigger resolve and then do the Spymaster's Vault bit, you can make very big creatures um, and Urborg Tomb of Yagamoth to make sure everything is a swamp but that's it for today's deck it is very much a case of control the board as much as you can cast Toxville win um, I haven't gone into it as much detail as I have other decks because I think Toxville is a very well known deck in commander land at the moment especially on MTGO but the cards there the deck list is below I hope, deathly, this is what you were looking for, my friend. Um, and I'm sure I'll probably be on the receiving end of Toxville at some stage when I'm back from my holiday. So, for now, thanks for watching. Please, if you can, hit the subscribe button down below. I'm trying to get to 500 by the end of the year, so if you can help out and hit the subscribe button, I'd appreciate it. If you want to see me try and play Toxville, I'm not great with blue-black, and it is usually quite funny when I'm playing that coloured pair on stream. There's a link down below to Twitch. You can come and give me a follow over there. Um, the next stream for me will be around about the 8th of August when I'm back from my holiday. Um, but for now, thank you for watching today's video. Leave some comments. I will still respond to them while I'm on holiday. You know, got to love having apps on your phone when you can check on YouTube and respond to the comments people leave. And yeah, I'll be back very soon with another video. Take care. See you later. Bye.